Democrats are bad at being relentlessly practical in the way you need to be. And you see this if you look at certain swing districts. This is going to be a big story, I guarantee you, in 2018. If you look at certain swing districts, they do not nominate the person who's most likely to win in the general. They nominate someone who's a purist from the primary, and then they end up losing the district. There's one in upstate New York that's a great example. They just don't know how to be as relentlessly and practical I, as they need to be if they're going to regain power. And I've been asking all Democratic leaders that come on here, will you be okay with a pro-life person if they're from Alabama or from Kentucky? And if they're from Alabama and they agree with you right. on, on economics, is it okay if they're pro-life? Take the win, yeah. And, and, the, and I keep hearing, no, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. Harold, you know very well. I mean, Donna Brazil, I remember after 2004, wrote an op-ed in the New York Times. She said, when I go home, they don't ask about our economics. They keep asking why, you know, we're, we're for abortion. And, and again, I'm not just talking about that one issue, but that is a cultural issue. It is the cultural issues that have disconnected Democrats from a lot of middle America. In, in big parts of the country, I think there has to be some allowances and accommodations if going forward, if we expect to win in, big, in parts of the country where we've lost. Well, it's funny. So yesterday I was talking to a young Democrat who was trying to pick my brain about who should he work for? Like if he's looking at the Iowa caucuses in, in, in 2020, like what? And I said, honestly, I have no idea. I, I, the, there is no leadership right now. There is such a vacuum. The, 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 the sclerosis in the Democratic Party is so overwhelming. and. and and, and crippling that they do not have a bench they do not have leaders who that will, but may be the problem yes. Harold Ford they're talking about 20 right we're talking about right now they need to take the Senate back or the house the Senate's just an so, uphill climb they need to take the house back they need to hold serve in the Senate if the Democrats want to have any possibility of checking Trump's power. Stay